and welcome to our Saint Sports well-being session on deep breathing technique. Deep breathing is also known as diaphragmatic breathing, abdominal breathing, or in yoga, the complete breath. It's the way that we are meant to breathe, but we have lost the habit due to our modern day lifestyles. When we feel stressed or anxious, then we tend to breathe into the upper part of the lungs and this method is termed shallow breathing. But also when we take in a deep breath, then the lower part of the belly will swell slightly. And of course, nowadays, we all just want to be seen with a flat stomach. So we do tend to hold in our stomach muscles and this interferes with the deep breathing method. And so shallow breathing becomes our normal method of breathing. But this is a really inefficient way to breathe. It uses a lot of energy for not much gain. So the vital organs, muscles and cells in the body are not supplied with enough oxygen. And this can lead to feelings of fatigue, lethargy, and even stress and anxiety. Whereas deep breathing utilizes all of the respiratory muscles and all of the areas of the lungs, even the remote air sacs. It expands the ribcage in all directions. And this maintains the elasticity of the respiratory muscles and the lungs. And also it ensures that an optimum amount of oxygen is then supplied to the vital organs, muscles and cells in the body, increasing our energy levels, both mentally and physically, and our vitality. I'm going to run through the method for deep breathing. And we can either be standing, seated in a chair, or on a yoga mat, in a comfortable easy pose, or in a, a lotus or a half lotus. And the main thing is that we keep that, that good upright posture. So we start just by lifting and lengthening the spine and then just rolling the shoulders up back and down and in towards the spine. We've opened up through the chest. And the first thing we do is we focus on the inhale. So we inhale through the nose, a slow, steady, continuous breath and visualize the breath first of all coming into the lower part of the lungs to activate the diaphragm and then the middle part of the lungs pushing out the rib cage in all directions and then the upper part of the lungs where it lifts the upper ribs and chest and elevates the collarbone slightly and at the end of the inhale just pause for a second and then exhale first through the lower part of the lungs, the middle and then the upper. And then a pause at the end of the exhale just to relax the chest and abdomen. So we'll continue just for a few breaths, inhaling smooth, continuously through the lower, middle and upper part of the lungs, pausing and then exhaling lower, middle and upper with that pause just to relax the chest and the abdomen. So as we inhale into the lower part of the lungs, activating the diaphragm, so the diaphragm can give the lower abdominal organs a little bit of a massage. And as we exhale, the diaphragm will relax and assist with pushing the breath. So we're slowing the breath, inhaling 
inhaling through the nose. You might find it helpful to use a count. Three, four, or five seconds. And just finding that natural rhythm. Now we don't need to completely fill the lungs with each inhalation every time we breathe. We can take in the average amount of air no matter how large or small the amount, we can still use this method to distribute the air to all the different parts of the lungs. But it might be helpful and certainly beneficial, maybe just once or twice a day, to inhale a series of full breaths, completely filling the lungs, and this will help to improve and maintain our physical and our mental health. And particularly when we're feeling stressed or worried and we're becoming overwhelmed by thoughts and anxieties, then just taking just a two or three minutes a series of complete breaths just gives us that control back in our mind and brings us to a state of calm. Hopefully you found the breathing method helpful and thank you very much for joining me and I will see you soon.